Hi, my name's Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the central coast of New South Wales. And this is my Make It Monday for this week. <laughs> um, today I'm going to show you a quite a simple card. It's using um, the cur quite curvy bundle. Uh, that's it. Um, and the peony, prize peony stamp set. Um, I haven't used that pri the prize peony stamp set for a while and the DSP, so I thought I'd use that and coordinate it with the curvy bundle. Sorry about my doggy barking in the background. <laughs> I never can choose the right moment to do these videos. But anyway, if you just bear with me while I turn my phone, phone around to get started, and I'll show you what we're going, I'll get started on making what we're going to make. So it won't be a moment. Okay. So these are the stamp sets I'm using today. The quite curvy bundle and the peon, prize peony and the dies to cut that out. So the cur quite curvy stamp set is in the, the mini catalogue on page 23. This is the stamp set with all the, um, stamps in it and the dies down here so they've got some beautiful border dies that you can cut out they've also got a die to cut these leaves out and a die to cut this spray of flowers out and little dies to cut the birds out and this little flower spray too and just another um piece of greenery that you could cut out and put on your cards. This card here in the catalogue has had, it's got the um, hydrangea paper behind it, which looks really pretty. Um, today I'm putting the prize peony paper behind it, or DSP. So this is the, DS, the, the peony garden suite in the main catalogue on page 82. This is a gorgeous suite of products. Let me just move that. Um, just beautiful. I used this a lot when I first got um, this set in when the catalogue went live last year um, and the papers just beautiful but I haven't used it for a long time so I thought I'd um, pull it out and use it in combination with the curvy bundle so they're the two bundles that I'm using today so I'll just put these away I'm actually having a class in April using the curvy bundle so these are the the cards that we're going to be making. So this one here, and these two are using the um, Celebrate Sunflower paper. Flowers for every season, sorry. Um, the designer series paper, that's a six by six bundle of paper. And then we're going to also make this one um, with the the ivory or the yeah the ivory leaves and this one that I'm going to show you today so there's a lot of um nice things in this it's in this card class so if you want to come along just let me know the class is the 10th of April Saturday the 10th of April after Easter and Wednesday the 14th of April you make four cards and it's $25 for the class. Everything's provided and supplied, plus morning tea or afternoon tea, depending on which class you come to. So let me just put these aside and we'll get started. Okay, so I'll just make sure everything's in view. I think last week I had things sort of just out of range and I didn't like that for you guys. Okay, yep, looks like everything's in view. Okay, so it's really quite a simple card. We've used, I've used Thick Whisper White as the card base and just with the bone folder I'm going to get a nice crease there. Um, this is another piece of paper out of the peony garden suite um, that was the grey granite and white piece this is the petal pink and white piece I thought I'd mix it up and show you that's the other reverse side it's really hard with these papers they're all so beautiful um, but I'm going to do the petal pink side today I've already um, stamped and coloured and cut my little peony flower out so I used this one in the stamp set so that's 
the one and I've got the dies there's so many dies I put this in another little stamp case um, so many dies in this set and it's this one that cut the flower out so you just line it up once you've stamped the image and I did hear a tip um, a couple of weeks back is stamp your image and then cut it out before you color it because if you don't I'll show you if you don't cut it out exactly the right way um, let me see there is a butterfly in here that I wasn't too happy with see how I've got more white up here and not down here if you've gone to all the trouble of coloring in your flower and then you cut it out and you've you haven't lined it up really well you've got to recolor it so the tip I heard was stamp your image die cut it out then color it so you're not wasting time having to recolor things which I thought was a great tip so I've already done that and cut it colored it cut it out um, I use dark petal pink for the flower and uh, smoky slate dark or well, this one's light light smoky slate for the center I've put some Wink Stella on this one which I will do in a little while I'll just do the die cutting first so this is the curvy bundle um, it's a photo polymer stamp set so you get all these dies as I said before in it so I'm going to use this one although should I use that's this one's just like the dots Maybe I'll use this one. That might look nice. Let me see. I've just got to work out whether where it's going to cut. Sometimes I get turned around. So we could reverse our card. We could put that over here. I've got a scrap here. I want it wider than that. Yeah, I can reverse it and do it it cuts that way yeah so I could reverse it and do it that way so I'll do that let me just pop that <laughs> a leftover piece so I'll move this card to here and I'll move my pieces to here and I'll bring my emboss machine in now I'm going to just make sure you can see that. So that's the cutting edge there. Sometimes I get a bit muddled and I put it the wrong way around because I'm a bit silly. And I'll put my other three plate on top. don't have to wind it back through but I always do particularly if you're using thick whisper white that's something important to do I'm um, just so you get the cutting right through okay so that's the bit it's cut off and which you can use on another card so that's why I have little bits all over the place <laughs> so let me just oh it looks like all the bits of all the um die cuts have popped out already so that's good I don't have to try and brush them out so let's bring the original card back in I think my camera stand is um not staying in one place which is not what I'm wanting it to do. There we go. I've tightened that up a bit now, so hopefully that won't drop. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Yeah, that's in place. That's in view. So we're going to reverse it all around. This is my die cut. So it's just going to. So that's probably going to be covering up too much of the designer series paper that I, I want. I don't want to cover that much up. 
So I might just get my trimmer and cut a little bit off. That's why I use a whole card front because then I can just sort of trim it down to what I want. I'm going to take one and a half centimetres off and see what I think of that. That's better. I wanted more of the designer series paper showing. There we go. Now I can still put that there or I could put it up here and wait and see. We'll work that out as we go. Okay, so now it's just a matter of layering. So with my seal, I'm just running that along there. I'm going to put it on the right hand side of the card front. Get that straight. I always seem to get things crooked and everything goes wrong when I'm doing these videos and I have to take two. Okay, so there is a little bit of a there. So all I'm going to do for this is just with the seal, across there, across there, follow the curve, and just line it up with the edge of the paper there we go cards don't have to be really fiddly you can make a really stunning card with not a lot of technique so let me just I could put that there I want to work out where I can put my bow I wasn't exactly happy with where I've got the bow on this one anyway we're going to come back here into the curvy bundle and get um, Made With Love Just For You. That's a nice sentiment. That's too big. Tidied my blocks up yesterday and do you think I can find anything in there now? I took a few of the big ones out. <laughs> okay, so. So I stamped that with grey granite. It's not a colour I use a lot, but with that it went really nicely. But I'm still going to use grey granite. Now I just want to work out... I could put my flower going this way and my bow there. I think that's what I'll do. So I'll just ink it up, practice, and straight. Oh, <laughs> it's straight. Here we go, straight down. I hope that's straight. It's a bit crooked. Oh well. I could put my flower up here now. <laughs> Is it bad? Is it really bad? No, it's not really bad. It's not really bad. Cover that up. So, I might do the Winker Stella on this now. I just do it on the petals and it's just nice. Got to have a a Winker Stella pen in your craft um, stash. I keep mine with my blending sponges um, and my blender pen and my take your pick tool. It's just all here in a little um, pen jar because I just seem to be using the Winker Stella all the time. I just love to put a little bit of sparkle on things. My puppy is lying on her pillow now in my craft room. Settle down. Okay, so then. A 
few dimensionals on the back. That should be enough. So I didn't even blend the petal pink um, blending blend the pen. I just used the dark petal pink all over. That's what I wanted to do, so that's what I did. So I'm going to put it this side. Covers up a little bit of that, but you see the nice texture up there. And I'm going to get this petal pink ribbon. This is still current in the catalogue. I do have some nice petal pink ribbon that's retired, but I like to use current product on my Make It Mondays. Just a matter of tweaking it, getting it the way you want it. slightly smaller bow. I think that's a bit better. Because it's sort of wider ribbon, I don't want it to sort of take over. I might put two glue dots on this bow because it's a bit of a bigger bow. There we go. And I'll get my rhinestones down. I don't know if you can see that little indentation. That's from my embossing, um, my plates on my emboss machine. So I don't want that showing. So I'm going to put one there. I'll put. So there's three sides. Instead of doing three across the top like this, see. So you can cover up any. Oop, you can cover up anything. So I'm going to put this, this one here. The next size is this one. I'm going to put that one over that little indentation. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to put a small one. Maybe up here. So that's the champagne rhinestones. Which are in the big catalogue, the annual catalogue. <coughs> so that's pretty much it. What about, oh, they're my instructions. <laughs> I might, while I'm here, do one of these little flowers inside both of them. With the grey granite. and quick was that using those two bundles we've got two lovely cards they look quite different same um, same product base with thick whisper white card base same size piece strip of DSP from the peony garden suite um, a complete card front um, 10 by 14.4 of the normal whisper white oh, basic white um, and then cut with a different die and because I wanted it to work with this die I've just reversed the card and it still looks really nice it's just really different and, and quite stunning so that's um, my makeup Monday for today I hope you've enjoyed that if you'd like to come to my um, quite curvy bundle class you're more than welcome to let me know, email me or message me. 
um, and let me know um, or any of my classes for that matter. So that's my Makeup Monday for this week. I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you.